You got everything? Yes, Mama. the days I have spent here on earth. Today is my most awaited. Because today I shall tremble these halls of earth. Today I shall shake this cave. Today my story shall be heard from even ten planets away. And today I shall prove to you all that I am Zion. And I am not afraid. You know I know everything. I know that you know about Melvin and that bitch. <laughs> Fella, I took you like my own brother. But what did I get in return? You used a knife. Pierced it through my heart. Deep into my soul. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Fella, I gave you 20 million naira to change your life. But you chose to pay me back in this way. Huh? So please, just, just give, me, give me this time to rewrite my room, please. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just, please, okay, forgive me, please. Just, just, please, just forgive me. Forgive me. Only God forgives. <laughs> For me, I don't. Please, please forgive me. I'm sorry, please. Forgive. Only God forgives. I don't. Before you see how it all ended, you should first see how it all began.
Shakespeare said, Journeys end in lovers' meeting. When I met this charming young man, my journey in search of love ended. about people who fall in love with each other but what about the rest of us those of us who fall blindly in love what about our stories not too much my people alba Quiet boy, so they so they get safe. The last kid, the last kid. We are good. Yeah, we are. Great. Oh, speak for yourself. Oh, wow. uh, Alright, let, let me confess. We actually missed your food. <laughs> <laughs> Straight. No, it's not enough. Okay. Not at all. Okay. We are as hungry as lions. So please, let's just go. Okay, you know, just excuse me. One second. <laughs> not too much. No, no, no. I have to know. Hey, Dick. <laughs> Madam. <laughs> What's the problem? It's the way you just call me Dick. Dick. <laughs> Is that not the short form of your name? Uh, the way they call the name, <laughs> now Dick Simple. What do they call him? Dick, Dick, Dick. <laughs> you know, say I'm a secret and uh, by ourselves with the day okay. most of the time. Go to the store, get some drinks for the guys, okay? The usual. Okay, okay. madam. <laughs> okay, I shall be. I shall okay. be. Okay. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Hey! Hey! Yes. Uh -oh. Good to see you! Yes, yes, yes. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. Wait, wait, calm down. What are you doing? Dick, dick, dick. Don't go call me dick for night, too. Oh. And the power. What sort so, of question is this? <laughs> no, I don't understand. It is common dick, sense. Dick. I know that people say common sense is not common. But at least I don't expect that you people would not have sense at all. I mean, after wedding, you're supposed to know comes the honeymoon between man and wife. Oh, and <laughs> oh, really? bodyguards. Exactly. <laughs> no, 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 no. I like you, man. Just learn. Please, oh. you guys, let's read. Bet, let's no, go. no, wait, 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 wait. Babe, you see oh. what I was talking about? We should have just gone to Dubai and do this honeymoon. Oh, come on, honey. Oh, wait, wait, oh. wait. I don't say we don't have a valid passport with Dubai visa stamp. 32 it's pages, 32 pages. It's 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 and before you get there, you will see us there. Please, let's go. Let's, let's, oh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. What are you talking about? Have you seen this people Do you know what is in here? Water, water. Look, water. let's go. 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 Are you for real? Okay, this is that big three. Man, no. Man, no. Okay. Man, no. 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 What is wrong? What is wrong with me? Mumu, mumu. What is wrong? What is wrong with me? Juju, juju. What is wrong? What is wrong with me? I don't know. Let me say you like reggae and calypso. Anytime you in the club. Yeah, 
Mr. Dixon, um, I need you to do some things for me before I come back. Dixon, did uh, you hear uh, me? Good morning, madam. Yeah, good morning. How are you? I'm fine, ma. Okay. What is the problem, Dixon? There's no problem, ma. I'm okay. Dixon, I know you. And this is not your usual self. Well, don't worry. Dixon, I'm okay. What is the problem? But well, my mama. Your mama? My mama. brother just called me this one. Is it my mama go on God's meeting? Go sit down for public toilet. Now she don't get now she infection. Now they're calling me for money. When will I see the money now? When will I see, when we all know that you pay uh, my next month's salary next month? But I'm not tired, but I'm okay. Okay, Dixon, it's fine. It's okay. okay? I'm okay. Um, you know what? Uh, let's see. I'm okay. You know what? Just, just take this money, okay? Take a few days off. Go home and sort your mother up. Mother? Yeah, just help me. Hurry. Mother, I'm going to go bless you. Dixon, it's okay. Mother, you don't go crash now, she's very sure. Dixon, open the gate. It's you fine. You don't go sit down for public toilet. Mother, I'm going to go. Madame, my, too much. I like too much. It's a special for you, Madame. I don't know if my mama goes sit down on top public toilet, but you need to sit down. It's too much, Madame. It's too much. Welcome Thank there. you. Hey, let's go inside. Let's, I have something for you. Really? I'm coming. For me? Mm -hmm. What can that be? Just wait. <laughs> uh, oh. oh my. Here you go. Oh, this for me? Yes, Mama. Oh, dear. So, oh <laughs> my God. This is so nice. So kind of you. Every time. You this girl. <laughs> eh? Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Mama. And I do appreciate the drugs you bought for me. The other day, I got them. Oh, oh they are really working well. They are great. I really missed you. I missed you too, my darling. Oh, come in, come in. Thank yeah. you, Mama. Oh, my dear. Wow. You see, I looked at myself in the mirror, <laughs> and what do I see? A gorgeous sleep. Ah! I love it. It's like. You just know the type of colors, the type of dress, and <laughs> this is so gorgeous. I look so elegant, and I, and I tell you, when I see my friends, oh, they are going to love it. <laughs> so, so you really like them? What did you just say? <laughs> like, that's an understatement. I love it. I'm just loving it. Oh my goodness. See, my friends, eh, do we every day? <laughs> I'm so That's happy so you crazy. like them. I love it. 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 I love, I love them. Love them. Love them. <laughs> you see, my dear, Thanks, Mama. it is said, eh? even the Bible says it, that if you take good care of your parents, more so your mother-in-law, your own children will take care of you. Mm. And you will enjoy the fruits of your labor. Amen. Right. No, let me not talk too much. Need that. Let me pray for you. <laughs> Thank you. you. See, my Lord and my God, my daughter is in front of you. I bring her before you. As she's taking care of me, may you always continue to take care of her. Amen. She will be blessed. Amen. Her pockets will be blessed. Her pocket will be blessed. Amen. Everything she touches will be blessed. Amen. Nobody will take a man from her. Amen. That is my son. Nobody, no intruder must come between them. Amen. She will have twins, many children. Amen. She will she'll be happy. Her mind will be at peace. Amen. Her husband will love her all her life. Amen. Both of them will be friends till old age. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Sit down. Thank you, Mama. You see, my blessings go with you every What more do I want in the daughter-in-law? 
Eh, I love you. You are pretty. Thank, thank you so I'm much. I'm so proud of you. Just thank look you, at this. Thank and you. you're so kind. Thank it's you. all right, my darling. <laughs> no girlfriend, though. Ah. It's me. Hello? Amanda? Hello? You said it's me. Amanda? Hello? 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 Yeah, where are you? I'm at Concept Hotel. Huh? Oh, come on, Melvin. I'm in Nigeria. What? What do you mean by what? She's right here with me. She's lying down. Oh, no. Oh, yes. What are you guys doing in Nigeria? Listen, Melvin. I am sick and tired of those games. Are you coming or not? No, I don't come to you now. Sings. destroy the life I've been fighting so hard to create for us. I'm sick and tired of you just putting me one dark corner of your life, Melvin. But come on, Amanda, it was just for some time. One day is like a thousand years without you. I mean, I've run out of words to tell to our little Amma. We are that worried about it. And I constantly have to reassure myself that this loneliness will not last forever. I mean, your presence is all I seek. Because when I'm with you, I become someone else, someone more like myself.
me? Hey, baby. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. You sure? What's wrong? You remember my niece I spoke to you about who stays in the US? Yes, I do. She just called me and said her husband died. Oh my god, oh no. And now she wants to relocate back. Good. <laughs> yeah, so um, Amanda meet my beautiful, gorgeous wife, MM. MM, that's my niece, Amanda. Oh, very nice to meet you. Same here. You're very welcome to Nigeria and you're welcome to my home. Your home. Thank you, Auntie. <laughs> yeah. Welcome, man. <laughs> and that's the little one. Oh, hi, honey. <laughs> Hi, how are you? It's so beautiful. Come on, how was your trip? Oh, come inside, come inside. Come in, come in. She's such a nice lady. Yeah, I know. She doesn't deserve this. Don't start, please. Why she finds out? So who's gonna tell her, you? For how long do you intend to keep this life? Come on, I'm not done playing this game. She doesn't deserve this, babe. She doesn't deserve me. Baby, you do deserve me.
Dixon. Why are you outside? What's wrong? What's the matter? Dixon! Ma. What is it? Yes, ma. What's the matter? Ma, the thing where I won't talk. If I talk and breeze carry the talk, people go enter while out. So, make I just come inside, I tell you privately. <laughs> ah. Okay, come inside. Eh, no, I never bought for off easy. Dixon. Ma? Is this some kind of joke? I swear it's no joke. I was going to the kitchen. I said, let me see. Let me collect more meat from the pot. I just turned. I saw them with my two Korogoro eyes. Will you shut up? Huh? Madam, if not so, it's a joke. I'm doing it. Listen, Dixon. I don't want to ever hear you play such games with me again. No jokes like this ever again. Do you hear me? You're not going to hear him again. Just please don't tell a guy I'm cracking all this kind of... Just, just keep it... Uh... Well, as long as you stop telling these lies against him. Now get out of my car. Okay, ma. Uh, ma, we don't far from house, so... so I don't know. Well, you will trek until you learn to stop telling all these lies. Get out! Get out of my car! Okay, ma. Get out and close the door. Who we'll open gate for you? Get out and close the door. Okada. Now fifteen I get to. Day. Fine. How was your day? Fine. Good. Welcome. Thank you, dear. Hi, honey. How are you? So, how was your day? Oh my god, it was good but very hectic. Alright. Hey, honey. Guess what? Auntie. Guess what? Auntie brought something very special for you. Do you want to see it? Yes. Okay. It's right here inside Auntie's bag. Somewhere inside, somewhere inside. Here. Hey, baby, come on. You and I know how much you scream during sex, okay? I don't scream. I only mourn. Really? Mm. There's actually a difference. Of course there is. <laughs> Stop it. Mm. Listen, I'll just look for a hotel we can always sneak into, okay? No, nobody handles me like you do. Uh, can you just stop it? I know. I am a 
prisoner of your sex appeal. Just, just stop. Man, you know my, you're my Alfredozi, right? So can you stop already? Just come give me some sugar. Bro. Oh no. Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> about the contract from the state government. Oh, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't see you, so I decided to pray along. Okay, we're gonna check on Alma just to be sure she's, you know, asleep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I guess we should go to sleep ourselves. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Listen, I'll just look for a hotel we can always sneak into, okay? No, nobody will handle me like you do. Can you just stop it? Anna, I am a prisoner of your sex appeal. Just, just... Just come give me some shit. Oh. 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 <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm coming. Hurry. Um, Hotel Magnificent, right? Yeah, that's in my hotel. All right, then. You'd see me soon. Okay. Yeah.
sweetheart. Oh my goodness. You would not believe it. Take a guess. What's up with the excitement, babe? Babe, just take a guess. You know I'm a very horrible guesser, so. Honey, can you try just for once, please? Uh, okay, so, um, you got the road construction contract? No, far from it. Far oh, come on, babe, you just tell me I'm done. <laughs> I don't have the strength for this. Okay, all right, okay. You remember you told me to go find out what's causing all my feverish dizziness and all of that? Yeah. Well, it turns out I'm pregnant! <laughs> Oh. Hey. Um. You. Now, look. This is this is this is too much. I, I don't get it. What would you be talking about an abortion? What is wrong with us having this child? Listen, babes. I haven't said there's anything wrong in us having a child. The what exactly are you saying then? I just feel like this is not the right time. But babe, look, we are a married couple and we have enough to take care of this child. I'm aware of that. Okay? Then why can't we have the child? But listen, this year alone, you have about five contracts to execute, okay? All you need to do is execute this contract and next year, if you want to have as many kids as possible, you can. Look, babe, I can have other contractors handle it. Better still, I can just drop out of it. Others will come. You wouldn't do that. No. Huh? You heard me right. You wouldn't do that. What you should do is to abort this baby, execute those contracts, okay? And, and if you want to have kids next year, you can have kids. No. My decision is final and that's what you're going to do. Doctor? Yes. What is it? Hmm. Actually, there was a major complication during the procedure. What complication are you talking about? Well, I'm afraid your wife might not be able to conceive. Good afternoon, madam. Uh, ma madam, you do call me? Please sit down. Madam, you can sit down. Yes. What I called you for might sound like throwing a bombshell. Bomb? Madam, madam, what did bomb do? Madam, what did bomb do? Dixon, sit down. Madam, because I hear you, you talk about Michelle. Dixon, I want you to know that I want the best for you. Okay? So I'm going to give you a sum of 10 million naira. Oh, you take that, you start a new life, marry a beautiful woman, and have some kids. Hey, hey, madam. What have I done to deserve this, eh? Madam. Now God go bless you. Now God go do it for you. 
When that money comes, madam, you don't go, you don't go finish, madam, you too much. I go, go bless you. It's okay. Madam, I go, go bless you. Yes. Ah, 10 million. It's okay, rise. I don't say it. Madam, you too much. Madam, thank you. Yeah, you can go. Madam, God, go bless you. Eh? You too much. Madam, you too much. Hi. You too much. You got everything? Yes, Mama. Everything is complete, Mama. Are you sure? Okay. Here you go. Thank you, Mom. told me about this place? Ah, uh, well, Melvin knows about this place. Really? Yeah, it's a little, you know, hideout place. Just come out here, change of scene, to have some quiet time. Uh, it's a cool place, I would say. Yeah, excuse me. See, uh, a bit confused about is why did you bring me here? Hmm. Why did I bring you here? Well, fella, let's just say I brought you here to give you what you would have asked for if I wasn't your best friend's wife. Whoa, that's that's really really deep. <laughs> deep. Wait, Fela, you think I don't know that you've been a prisoner of my sex appeal? And that you've always pictured being with me? Hmm? But guess what? You're in for something great today. I have something special for you. Let's chill. What are you up to? I'll be back. What's that? Well, I want us to do something crazy. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. like my own brother. But what did I get in return? You used a knife, pierced it through my heart, oh, no. deep into my soul. No, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Fella, why? 
Fela, I gave you 20 million naira to yes, change yes, your yes, life. Yes, yes. But you chose to pay me back in this way. No, no, please. Huh? Please. please. Just, just give, me, give me this time to rewrite my rooms, please. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, okay, forgive me, please. Yes, yes. Please, just forgive me. Forgive? <laughs> Only God forgives. <laughs> As for me, I don't. <laughs> Hey, what's wrong? Is everything okay? It's Fela. What's about Fela? He's been missing for a while. What? His phone has been switched off, and no one seems to know anything about his whereabouts. Oh my god. The thing is, every time I try to convince myself of his well-being. There's this, this strange fear that just grips my stomach. Listen, babe. Look, just take it easy, okay? I'm sure Fela will be back in no time. Look, look just take your food, okay, and eat. Please. 
<laughs> okay, let me rush downstairs. I'll be right back, okay? Are you not going to join me? Um, I'm on a six to six prayer fast. Mm -hmm. Prophetess, six to six. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. All right. get into my house with this gun I said one more question and I'll answer you with a bullet in your head now take two steps closer is this a prank or what I, I, I don't Would know you get all this Ivana so you thought I would never find out huh you sided with Melvin to shatter my heart into pieces Ivana you are my best friend why would you betray me in this way why I'm sorry I actually wanted to tell you but Please, please forgive me. I'm sorry, please. please. Forgive. Only God forgives. I don't. What is it? What is it? Babe, what's the problem? What is it? It's Ivana. You, Ivana? What happened to Ivana? She was found dead in her apartment. Oh my god. I don't even understand. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Ivana. Serious? Huh? Mm. 
You know what, babe? Yeah, I was just um, I was just thinking that you and Alma should go back to America because I don't. Shh. We don't need words. We just need to listen to the sound of our breathing. <laughs> I need to go now. You want more? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tomorrow never dies, I mean. Let's just go around. Uh... <sighs> so I'll see you when I get home, huh? back. Oh. 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Surprised, Amanda? Okay, I'm sorry. So you came into my home and made a fool out of me. Oh. I see you don't know the kind of woman you're messing with. That was not the plan, please. I need to find a place in your heart to forgive me. The thing is, I no longer have a heart. And as for forgiveness, only God forgives. But I don't. Bitch. Jesus. Jesus. Are, are you serious? Honey, what is it? No, how? When did this happen? I'm 
Scared. Scared of what? Look, I can hardly close my eyes or have a sound sleep at night. I know. Same here. You know, it just feels like death is hanging around the corner. No, no. God forbid. Babe? Hmm? Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Have you, you know, doubled into any kind of business deal and created enemies for yourself? No, no. None that I remember. Okay, have you joined any fraternal organization? I don't get you. Well, like an occult or something. Well, something. What are you talking about? Oh, well, babe, stop answering my questions with more stop questions. Answering questions are back for more questions. <sighs> Listen, baby, there's something you should understand. Right? We live in a time where enemies could even grow on trees. Okay? Wrong. Just nice. Thank you.
and men. Yes, mommy. What are you doing here? Has your lover boy left you as we predicted? Mommy, he did worse than that. He killed me. I am not surprised. Did you miraculously conceive at last? This is my stepdaughter. Alma. <laughs> this is worse than killing you. Yes. Your father died an unhappy man. He allowed you to marry that bastard because you insisted. He loved you so much that he didn't want to become a stumbling block between you and your definition of love and happiness. You stayed away from me all these years because I advised you to divorce that bastard. <sighs> Mommy, please. Please just do me this favor and take care of her for me. Please. One more thing. I've willed everything to you. What is happening? Mama, I'm going on a journey. And I don't think I'll ever return. Journey to where? I don't understand. A journey to a road less traveled. A place where true happiness lives. father was right about you, about us. That first time I brought you to our house, he said he saw a love that would never last. He said he sees me here and he sees you there. He said something tells him there is a side to you that I know absolutely nothing about. <coughs> My father's basic instinct was right. But I was so blindsided by the love I had for you that I couldn't read between the lines. Why? Why are you going down this memory lane? <coughs> the question is why would you do this to me, Melvin? Why would you set the fire in my life and watch me burn? Why would you tell me so much lies in one lifetime? You know everything? The only thing I don't know about your fake ass right now are the things that do not exist. Hey ma'am. Hey ma'am. I'm sorry. You said you loved me. I lied. I lied to you, please. Melvin, you told me nothing gets better than you and I together. You said you loved me more than life itself. Please forgive me. Do anything. You're gonna kill me? Yes. Just like I killed the others. I killed your friends. I killed your mother. And I killed the woman you chose over me. And my baby. Don't worry about her. She's in good hands. <coughs> I, I, I thought 
thought you said you were bringing me to a healing home. I guess you're not the only one who thinks you're endowed with the gift of telling lies. Listen, I can right all the wrongs if you give me a second chance. Amen, please. Please don't kill me, please. Forgive me. Melvin, only God forgives. But I don't. That case will happen. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, what of uh, the IPO of that, uh, for that officer? That uh, criminal with the blank on the other thing? I think he's still there. Yeah. You record the case? Yeah, I record it. Okay. Well, I'm going to see. Mother, what do we do for you, Mother? Arrest me. Eh? Arrest me. Mother, you say what I didn't speak Swahili. I said, arrest me. Okay, madam, uh, cool down. Uh, wait. Now, what do you do when you see me we arrest you? Defendant has pleaded guilty to five count charge of murder, contrary to section 316 of the Criminal Code Act. The court finds that the prosecution has proven beyond reasonable doubt the essential element of the crime murder. In arriving at this sentence, the court has considered the guilty plea of the defendant, given the gory evidences and several aggravating factors. In view of these factors, the court shall grant severe punishment and judgment, which shall serve as a deterrent to members of the society. The sentence of the court upon you is death by hanging. God have mercy on your soul. What? My story is a very heartbreaking one, yet it must be told. The remarkable story of a remarkable woman. I want the generations after me to hear my name and wonder who I was. How angelically I loved and how demonically I fought. Forgive me, dear Lord, for I have sinned and come very short of your standards. Do not walk this path of vengeance. For an eye for an eye leaves everyone blind. Amen.